What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Real Madrid Juventus Champions League final. We played this game with my girlfriend as a co-op game and also in the second part of the video I simulated the game just the AI controlled each side but let me know guys who do you think will win the Champions League it could be Real Madrid's 12th record 12th Champions League trophy they could win the Champions League for the first time in the Champions League era back to back two years in a row they could win their third Champions League trophy in four years that would be an incredible achievement or Juventus could finally win a Champions League final after losing six of their eight Champions League final appearances. Juventus are, you know, the nearly man of Europe. They lost six of the eight Champions League finals, as I said, they only won two. And Gianluigi Buffon, at 39 years old, everybody is talking about him because he won everything in world football except the Champions League. That's the only trophy that he couldn't lift as a Juventus player and it would be absolutely massive for him this could be the the crown jewel of his career and I don't think Buffon will get another chance of winning the Champions League maybe they will get to the Champions League final next season but you know that the competition is fiercely competitive and it will be also a very very good tactical battle Juventus winning six Serie A titles in a row Real Madrid winning their first La Liga title since 2012 and in his first game uh, I played as Real Madrid with my girlfriend he is the blue player I am the red player so if you want you can see how each of us has have done and of course this is on, on not on legendary difficulty because co-op is usually a lot lot harder but we actually started the game on the front foot so Zinedine Zidane what do you think about him and what is your prediction for this game who will score who will be the hero let me know in the comments below so Zidane I don't think he's getting enough credit I remember when Guardiola from managing the Barcelona B team took over Barcelona Guardiola did similarly to Zidane but Guardiola was praised a lot higher in world football than Zidane because Zidane already won the Champions League once he already won the Spanish League he already could win two Champions League tro trophies in two seasons which is uh, uh, amazing uh, and uh, Real Madrid already won the Champions League 11 times which is way way above than anybody else the closest is AC Milan with seven Champions League trophies but AC Milan is nowhere near you know very close to the to winning the Champions League and we make it 2-0 my girlfriend scored the first goal with Ronaldo I scored the second goal with Ronaldo it was a rebound but in the first like 12 minutes we are leading 2-0 of course guys if you enjoy these types of video make sure to leave a like and uh, the career mode videos will be back probably tomorrow and we will also do uh, live reactions for the Champions League final so we look forward to it and here we almost make it 3-0 so Real Madrid incredible achievement they had a similarly dominant period from 98 to 2002 when they won the Champions League in 98 against Juventus ironically 1-0 and then in 2000 and then in 2002 and now they could win the Champions League what are what is Ronaldo doing here he's humping Pink Quadrado. Oh my god. I just had to leave that in. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. So Ronaldo, after tackling Quadrado, they stayed down and <laughs> boys get a room. Don't do this in the Champions League final. Come on, man. So, you know, uh, Real Madrid, you know, having a similarly dominant era now that Barcelona had with Guardiola. But the thing is that Zidane doesn't get in my opinion enough credit because what he is doing with Real Madrid is nothing short of remarkable for example you know he is rotating the team better than any previous Real Madrid manager in the last like 10 to 15 years Ronaldo missed more games 14 in total by the way what a goal by I think it was Benzema I'm not sure but that is surely game over 40th minute 3-0 
brilliant or or as uh, we thought it was game over but you went to set other ideas so Ronaldo missed 14 games in total and that's the most games that he has been rested for since he signed for Real Madrid and you went to stay, get a go back in the 45th minute of course 45th minute cheese and, Re and uh, Ronaldo um, you know didn't complain actually he was uh, saying that Zinedine Zidane manages the team very very smartly of course defending wise we could have done better here Quadrado why falls the ball home and suddenly it's game on in the 45th minute it was 3-0 and then you went to score two quick goals and that's how, that's how the half time stats looked like so already five goals at half time that's crazy so star man Cristiano Ronaldo is fresh and firing because of uh, Zidane Zidane's rotation policy he used the second team very very wisely and that's why I think Real Madrid won the Spanish league title Barcelona just don't have that squad depth that Real Madrid has and you know Real Madrid so the Real Madrid uh, just rotated the team brilliantly so we win the game 3-2 as you can see by the statistics there weren't that many shots in the second half there were actually just like three or four shots in the first half there was like 16 shots in total so a very strange game um, and this is actually the simulated game so this game was decided by the AI some of you guys like it when I play the preview game on FIFA, others of you guys like it when the AI or the computer play it uh, between each other. So I thought let's include both. And oh my goodness, they hit the post and the game starts in almost exactly the same fashion. But this time it's Juventus who take an early two goal lead instead of Real Madrid. And Real Madrid were actually all over the place in, in this one. I'm not sure why, but Juventus completely dominated and battered them and really should have made it 3 or 4 nil. I mean, watch this. After, you know, Keilo Navas makes a couple of really, really awesome saves. Juventus hit the bar twice in a row. That is crazy. So Zidane did I think very well in terms of uh, you know rotating the side and Ronaldo the likes of Ronaldo and other players were fresh towards the business end of the season and that's why Real Madrid won the Spanish league title and uh, I, I've been saying this for years Real Madrid should have won a lot more league titles in the years that Ronaldo has been there Ronaldo has been at Real Madrid for like what six seven years and this is only his second Spanish league title but of course Barcelona have been pretty much dominating uh, the Spanish league in recent years Atletico Madrid won uh, one championship but otherwise it has been all Barcelona most of the years so I think this Real Madrid is the you know the well the most equipped team to do the the record breaking back to back Champions League trophies by the way how on earth did Cristiano Ronaldo miss <laughs> that from basically 3 yards out an open goal he really should have scored that uh, but let's talk about Juventus Juventus has a world-class team as well they did their uh, you know business brilliantly in the transfer market they have uh, Cuadrado, Higuain, Dybala I think Juventus will play counter-attacking tactics in this one but Real Madrid and Juventus uh, you know this will be a fascinating tactical battle Italian sides and Allegri also very very good tactically but Zidane also very good tactically and Real Madrid will play tactical football I think in the final they have to be they have to do otherwise they will lose because Juventus will lick their lips if Real Madrid push too many men forward Carvajal and Marcelo will have to watch very carefully how many runs they make because you know Juventus have deadly players on the counter-attack uh, Quadrado and Dybala could exploit and Dani Alves as well could exploit uh, the space between the Real Madrid fullbacks so I think that's where you should watch how the tactical battle unfolds on the wings and of course in the middle you know two world-class uh, midfields and uh, the attacking firepower for both teams is crazy Cristiano Ronaldo hasn't shined in a Champions League final yet so I think he will be desperate to score a goal 
and to of course he has already scored so scoring a goal but that was in, a, in the fourth goal against uh, Atletico Madrid's uh, you know 4-1 demolition of course uh, Sergio Ramos you have to watch him for the corners as well so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this see you later guys anyway